Good morning. <laughs> I'm just let you know right now, I'm probably gonna look a mess to start off all of these videos. Um, just because, you know, gotta do the check-in first thing in the morning. Um, today is the start of week two and it's time to measure myself and weigh in so you guys can see where I'm at. Hopefully you saw last video. Um, if not, I'll still put in a side-by-side -side of this video so you can see the comparison of my body and my measurements and my weight and all of that. So, let's get to it. With our chest, we got 37 here. 29 and a half. And the lower is 32. 43.25. It's like right below 13, so I would say like 12.8. Thigh is 26 even. 26.75. Let's go weigh ourselves. What's up, class? What's up guys? <laughs> so I just wanted to get on here and briefly discuss the last two weeks or discuss um, week two with you before we jump into this like little mini vlog I have at the end. Um, we do head out to Aspen and I just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like when I'm on my cut but I'm traveling because um, I know a lot of people have questions about that. The video is just really brief just kind of showing you what I ate just a few things and not much but um, when it comes to a mini cut, like, yes, I want to check in. I'm going to be checking in each week with you guys, but everything for the most part stays the same. Um, I think that's the problem with most people when they are dieting or training and stuff like that. They feel like they need to switch it up all the time and that things need to constantly be changing your food needs to be changing your workouts need to be training or changing but that's not the case to so training you do the same things so let's just quickly break down um the three categories before we jump into the little mini vlog by the way i'm coming to you just raw in the flesh i'm in teron's gaming chair because he stole my office chair <laughs> in my last video is gonna be that time of the month and it is and i'm feeling it and I'm, I'm i'm exhausted okay i've been sleeping but still training and all of that so let's talk about training my training stayed exactly the same actually before this is a breakdown of my split glutes and hammies back and biceps then i'll take a rest day my active recovery day which is just cardio and abs then i'll jump into glutes and quads followed by just upper body which is shoulders triceps chest and then i will hit glutes glutes only and then finish it up on day seven with another active recovery day which is another cardio and abs day before repeating so my workout stayed exactly the same for week two they will be changing just slightly for week three and week four you head over to my instagram so you can see the screenshots of what week one and week two workouts look like and by the time this video drops out you'll be able to see what week three workouts look like um, cardio so i've been doing 20 minutes of cardio so that so week one i did 20 minutes steady state after my training that remained the same for week two so going for week two is just 20 minutes incline walking on the treadmill um honestly i've been too exhausted to get on the stairmaster i don't know why it feels so hard to, for, for me right now but 20 minutes incline walking which is still difficult but cardio remained the same but it will be going up for week three and week four now food As you might know i eat the same thing but occasionally i will mix it up and throw in some like new recipes but week two i really had a hard hard time eating and making sure my food was prepped and ready to go um, which was terrible for me because I knew it was gonna be that time of the month and I should have my food prepped like I like to cook my food fresh every day when at that time I probably should be prepping to make it just completely honest I probably should be prepping because what happens is is I don't feel like cooking and then I start snacking and that's what happened a lot for week two. I didn't eat enough meals but I ate too much snacks if that makes sense. So you could see my results from week one obviously at the beginning of this video there was huge changes after week one. Now I want you guys to definitely stay tuned for the next video week two check-ins because it's more realistic because sometimes your body changes and other times it doesn't. So I definitely want you to see next week's check-in and that pretty much wraps up this video just really quickly just wanted to just talk about what it's like um i'm honestly like 
struggling right now i said week two is the hardest but we're getting through this week and now in three week three we're full in i'm still tired because it's still that time of the month but i'm still getting it done i'm getting the work done and we're tightening up the diet a little bit more so that wraps up this little brief check-in if you have any questions do not forget to leave them down below and yeah <laughs> I'm tired and I'm finishing this video and then I'm going to sleep. Yeah. What's up guys? Welcome back to another little mini vlog. I'm at our packed and getting ready to... Oh, there's my little suitcase right there. Um, we are headed to Aspen for the weekend. Tehran has a rugby tournament, so that's where we'll be. But I wanted to vlog because I want to show you how I stay on track while traveling so i have no idea what the gym situation is like in aspen no idea but i still need to work out and i still need to eat somewhat decent so really quickly i just wanted to share that i did start off the day with the workout which obviously you're not going to see in this video and then before my workout i had a nectarine and one blueberry waffle from trader joe's you guys know that's what i like to have as my pre-workout and then after my workout i had a protein shake so that is what i consumed before we jumped on the road because i'm in my mini cut right now so that's what i'm gonna be vlogging so we just made a little Quick stop at 7-Eleven. Yeah, yeah. What, what you got? Ew, yeah. you bite it. I've got like little moles. <laughs> Bumps on it. Bumps on it. <laughs> Obviously, there wasn't much that I can choose from in 7-Eleven, but I did get a Chobani, Greek yogurt, and this little snack pack. So just got some fruit and stuff in here. So that's what I'm gonna eat until we like actually get somewhere to get some food, which we probably won't eat until we get there, right? I think I might find something right before we enter. Yeah. No. Unless there's something on the way. We'll see. All right. We made it. Let me give you guys a little tour of the, the digs. This is a cute little spot we found out here. What? Front door. We got a nice kitchen in here. Say, yeah. Our bedroom down here. Nice. Full mirror, too. We got shower. Little dining room, little fireplace. Is this electric? Oh, on. Living room. Baby, get out of my way! <laughs> get out the way! <laughs> little balcony out there. And then the other rooms are upstairs. So, big TV. Let's go upstairs. Boy, it's kind of dark. Double beds here, shower, got a little, little loft area up there too. Then the same thing for this room, double beds, <laughs> so, shower, cute. Time for dinner, I got a little veggie soup here, a roll. This is where we're going to start off. This is kind of like my first meal of the day and I'm starving, so. Um, and I got some tacos that I'm waiting on. All right, then we got two chicken tacos, a little bit of rice, and some guacamole right there, so. Okay. So it is, what time is it right now? It is 12.56, it's one o'clock. We've been up since 6.45. Um, Tehran had two back-to-back -back games and um, I'm tired. But, so I showed you what we had this morning. I didn't want to talk because the other guys staying in there, they were still asleep at the time. So I just had some eggs, hash browns, and turkey bacon that we bought last night at the store. Um, just because we knew we were going to have time to make breakfast today and I'll have the same thing tomorrow morning. But I, he has a two hour break right now. So I'm like, let me just go get my gym session out of the way. So I found a gym over here, um, that's near the field and I'm going to go get my workout in. So the game doesn't start for two hours 
and I only need about an hour, hour and a half. So I did have, I went to Starbucks right here and this is a chocolate almond um, shaken espresso. So just an es espresso with um, chocolate almond milk. And then I did have a butter croissant. So I just needed something before I went and worked out just because it's been a while since I've eaten anything. So <sighs> waiting for this espresso to kick in. So I can go to the gym and get this workout in and then hopefully they got like a good bathroom or something. I don't know. Aspen is bougie so hopefully they'll have something nice. So let's go get this workout in. We go forever now. We go forever now. Yeah. You know that I'm a trust setter. Yeah. You can say you can do better. Uh. No, no, I won't let her. Uh. We go forever now. I go and create the pressure, yeah You wish that you can do better, uh You wish that you can do better, yeah I know that I can do better I'm so in love with the chatter I'm so in love with my little boo It was written like a letter Think I was born with the juice Think I was born with the sauce Think I was born a little crazy Then I turned out to a boss Gotta, gotta go and get it I keep running up the digits That's my mind, I gotta fix it Kill the beat, cold killing Need to change the way I'm living Never sleeping, I'm tripping This is forever and ever We live forever and ever, yeah We go forever and ever, yeah You know that I'm a trusader, yeah You wish that you can do better, uh. no No, no, won't let her, uh. We go forever and ever, yeah I go and create the pressure, yeah You wish that you can do better, uh. You wish that you can do better, yeah Yeah, that swing that that dude did. Oh. Take a look. <laughs>